Hey buddies, really apologies for meeting you after so long and making this video exactly after many months as I was a bit busy in some occasions in my family as it was my brother's wedding then some other weddings were there also a uh, few um, tours took place in my life and due to that I couldn't make the video for you and that's why I came today with really updated vocabulary for you i hope that vocabulary not only make your english speaking fluent but also it makes you like you are speaking as a native speaker right so just learn the vocabulary while i'm sharing it with you i will speak it twice so you must have to speak with me it means that you can learn it while just watching the video it doesn't mean that you will learn after the videos you can just uh, repeat it and kind of that you can just repeat with me just sit with pen and paper so you can jot down that so less mistakes of spellings you can learn throughout the spelling and you can use it in your certain exams like IELTS, UK life skills and also TOEFL or many others so let's begin with uh, updated vocabulary i have the first word it pronounced as appease 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 is the word which means that make somebody calmer from their anger to just agreeing their whatever they want like many times if i have to in explain it in for instance like uh, my son he has the habit like sometimes he gets very stubborn or sometimes he needs something and if i'm doing something important work and i wanted to make him calmer i must have to give him phone to watch the videos and to play the game even though i don't like it so at that moment i can use this words when i was doing some important work i must have to appease my son atharva for using mobile phone i must have to allow him you can do so at least he can get calmer and he don't make much violent or noise so just see that how easier the word is this is called the verb which we can use in certain places for making people calmer right for uh, just agreeing what they want to do the another word it pronounced as arcane 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 is the word which exactly means due to the less popularity something which is difficult to understand many times we listen something but we couldn't understand why because it is less popular among the people so if for me if i have to use this word i can use understanding albanian language is really arcane for me as i had never ever heard it from anybody right so arcane means something which is difficult to understand due to the less popularity right the another word is everies 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 is the word which can be used for those people who are insatiable having the desires of wealth like many people they have uh, great wealth yet they are having uh, like uh, desires to have more and more and more and you must have heard many times that uh, money is kind of magnetic power it has the magnetic power if the one having the money they always urge to have more and more money so yes this word can be used for those certain people like though he is billionaire yet he is average means he is a billionaire yet he has the strongest desire to have more and more money yes so the next word i have is kajol 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 not kajol it's Kajol. Very easy to remember while you are learning words, while you are trying to pronounce, while you are trying to remember it. Always try to connect that word with something which you are already knowing. Same way as I had connected the word is Kajol. It's not the Bollywood actress Kajol, right? 
कजोल इज द वर्ड विच मीन्स दैट परसुएड अ पर्सन बाय गिफ्टिंग दैम और स्पीकिंग समथिंग नाइसली टू देम राइट लाइक वैन आई नीड समथिंग फ्रॉम अदर और वैन आई वॉन्टेड टू वू द पीपल आई मस्ट हैव टू डू वॉट दे लाइक वॉट दे वॉन्ट राइट इफ आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर माई पास्ट स्टोरी लाइक इन माई चाइल्ड many time it's happened that i need something very expensive but for that i must have to cajole my father that daddy i can do everything for you like i will work harder for my studies like that blah 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 like many times i must have to cajole my father to buy those expensive things for me the reasons behind it that my father was my atm whenever i need something i just go to my father and demand in front of him so cajole you can use for certain people while you need something from them or while you wanted to make them happier by your talk or by your gift you can even give gifts to make them into your favor right so the next word i'm having is circumspect you must have heard circumstances circumstances means certain situation which occurs in our life here the word is circumspect circumspect so the word as it is really interesting it has the interesting meaning so circumspect it means that thinking before doing something like if i had plan or if i am going to do some work but before doing it if i come to know that by doing this i must be get into the trouble so it means that i circumspected about it like thinking before it very carefully it always work if you think before you do so circumspect you can use for doing certain thing which even make you in danger so thinking before it it always worthy my next right? word is elated 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 is the word which we can use instead of excited excited is very common word but instead of using that we can use elated like if i have to say that i always see other were elated about artwork like whatever work uh, related to craft and art he wanted to do i always see he is elated for it the reason behind it he is keen of making artwork and certain diys so we can use instead of excited elated it is kind of word the another word is eloquent 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 this is a word which we can use as an adjective for the person of who are expert in public speaking there were many people who are really really expressive in front of the public when they can share their thoughts even they can express their feeling and they can explain whatever they wanted to so these kind of people are specially known as eloquent in my uh, familiarity i can consider oprah winfrey is the eloquent speaker i had ever seen i really you can consider me as her fan follower because she is speaks tremendously whenever she speaks i always flabbergasted yeah so uh, the next word uh, we can consider as empathy 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 is the word which we can use for understanding the feeling of other sometime if the person is sharing with you their personal life stories or when they are telling you some um, problems so at that time if you understand that it means that you can tell them that i have the empathy on you and even you can talk to the third person that i really have the empathy to my friend so empathy means understanding the feeling of others another word is erudite 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 this is a word which we can use for knowledgeable person when the person is really knowledgeable we can use them as a erudite person so there are several erudite trainers in the world you can consider as they have the skills 
to train others not only they are trainers but they can increase the trainers in the world so those trainers are called as erudite another word i am having is extau 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 is the word which we can use to praise enthusiastically many times when we see something good but we suppress our feelings and we couldn't speak in front of the people so when you express your feeling if i like somebody's attire if i like somebody's talk if i like somebody's advice so at that time what can i do i extol them right i extol them the sentence i can make out of it i always extol those who appreciate others i always extol right another word is feral 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 is the word which we can use for wild animals but they are not wild by the birth they had lived with human as a pet later on they ran away and started living as a wild animal so those animals are called not wild animal but those are ferals ferals right so the next word i'm having is flabbergasted as i mentioned before that are always flabbergasted by the speeches of oprah winfrey right so i am really keen fan follower of her so flabbergasted means surprised or shocked when some situation makes you surprised especially on your birthdays on your anniversaries or in certain events so that moment you can see as being astonished as being overwhelmed you can use instead as being flabbergasted i flabbergasted on my birthday as i got the biggest party from my husband right the next word i am having is forsake 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 it is not pronounced as forsake it is only forsake forsake means to leave some person to leave place forever like you have decided that i'm not going to meet this person again in my life means you left that person so at that moment leaving that person call forsake you don't use this word that i left that person but you can use instead i forsake that person or i forsake to go to this place so leaving forever whether it is person or place you can use forsake the next word it is gratuitous 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 this is a word it's not called gratuities it's called gratuitous gratuitous it means that unnecessary many times we use this word unnecessary but instead of using gratuitous it can make your language more fluent more it can increase your proficiency as well so the verb which is harmful which is having the harmful effect it's called gratuitous right riding bike very fastly is gratuitous for me so i always ride it very carefully in average speed right last but not the least i'm having the beautiful word which is haughty 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 it's haughty you can easily remember the spelling as naughty naughty having the same spelling n a u g h t y and same way you can use uh, replace the n with h and it becomes haughty haughty it doesn't meet very hot or you can use it for your girlfriend haughty means you can use for the person who feels like i am better than him or i am better than her like those people who feel uh, those people who feel arrogant for them we can use the word haughty if i have the friend who always boast in front of my friends or who has the habit who never ever think about others and he always feel superior so for that person i can use he is very haughty right i hope you had learned almost the word you have written them and 
pronounced it with me it really help you in your speaking skills not only your speaking but also you can use this words in your IELTS exam in your TOEFL exam or PT or in your UK life skills for making your exams more scoring you must have to use some upgraded words instead of using common words and these words will really really help you in your proficiency thank you so much for watching my video and i will meet you see you soon as uh, now i have the list of kind of videos uh, task which i'm going to make and also one surprise is there i'm going to share my tour which we had in Abu Ambaji. So stay tuned for my next video. Bye-bye. Take care.